Praise God, everybody, and welcome to Facebook Live Thursday night with Apostle James and Prophetess Victoria Werner from World Outreach in Jemison, Alabama. We are excited to come to you tonight and teach and train once again. Let me introduce to you my beautiful wife, Prophetess Victoria Warner. Say hi, everybody. Thank you, James. Thank you for those sweet words tonight. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are truly so joyful as you are coming on tonight. We are grateful that you're joining us tonight. And please, praise God, send out, because what we're talking about what we're going to talk about tonight is sin and death does not have power over Jesus believers. And that is great news. And if any time that we need to hear that, we need to hear this message. Now. So now. Now with that's everything right. that's going on around us. Yes. We need to hear this message now. Sin and death has no power, no power over any of the believers that believe in Jesus. No power. No power. None. And and you'll find out as we begin to unfold the scriptures. You know, we've heard from believers who have said, I'm struggling. I'm struggling because of all of what the fake news media is saying. You know, fake news media is propaganda. Families who have children. We must come to this place that we are believing the scriptures. We're believing Jesus' word above man's word, above anybody else's yeah. word. Only Jesus' word. That's right. What he said. And so we pray there's going to be, I believe tonight, freedom. I believe tonight liberty is going to set all of the captives free as Amen. we dive into the Word of God. Tonight. Amen. Let me just say this as we begin. Our trust is in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And He is faithful. He has proven His faithfulness to us, especially in our world travels. But the fake news media, CNN, ABC, CBS, the Marxist, Communists, and Socialists, let me tell you what they have proven to us. They lie. That's right. They lie. They're, they're, they try to put, what they're doing right now is they're trying to put so much fear on you that you can't function because you're doing one of these, what if this, what if that, what if this, what if that. Well, you know, our Father is faithful. It's based in fear. Fear, that's right. And this is all you're going to hear. But tonight... Good news. Good news. <laughs> <laughs> good news from the Word of God. Amen. The truth from Jesus. We want to welcome some of you tonight. Sarah Ferrausen. God bless you. It's been a while. Sharon Flannery, heaven O. Yes. Dee Dee, heaven O to you too. Praise God. Love to Terry. Yes. What a miracle, miracle he is. Amen. So just God bless those of you coming on. Sin and death has no power over right. any Jesus believers. Now the reason why there was an emphasis on Jesus believers is because it narrows it down to the truth. Because Jesus believers, they are following what Jesus says. Amen. Amen. And so we're going to look at the scriptures. Why does, why does the word of God say that there's no power? Sin and death has no power over the believers especially when they have made covenants with Almighty God. God said in Deuteronomy, he says right here, I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Now choose life. Well, Father says, I'm going to set this before you as you walk in the earth. 
And the only way that you get life and blessings is through who? Jesus Christ. Amen. And so, Father said, all right, my sons and daughters. He said, so choose life. And that's how we walk in the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ in us. Mm -hmm. It's because we choose life. A believer chooses life. A believer chooses to follow Jesus. And so it says, here's the promise, honey. It's so awesome. So that you and your children may live. So when any family member, when the mom and the dad choose life, choose blessings through Jesus Christ, guess what? You're setting it up not just for yourself, but for your children, your generation. Amen. God's Amen. all about generation. Yes, he is. Yes, so, he is. So now it's choosing. All right? So we, we make that foundation tonight. Amen. You choose eternal life Amen. through Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Because Jesus said in John 14, 6, you want to say this one, huh? He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. Now that right there says it all. No man comes to the Father except through the door, which is Jesus. So the only way that we come into these blessings, and then we're going to see how sin and death has no power. Because it's all what our Lord has done. And Father says, the only way that you're going to partake of the power that I've given you, hallelujah, hallelujah. is through Jesus. That's it. And the only way you come to me is through Jesus, Amen. not Allah, not Buddha, not any other God. Many people have other gods, but you will never know this life, the truth. You'll never know the way except through Jesus Christ. He's Amen. the only way. Amen. He Praise is God. the only he way. He is the only way. It's, it's not any other way. It's not through, you know, counting beads. And you know, you know all about that. No, because that was the old me. You used to be a Catholic, <laughs> you know, and, and we're not here to bash any other religion. Oh, no, no, no. But we must tell you the truth. We wouldn't do that. It's not through beads. It's not through rituals and traditions, you know, as, as people do this. It's not through that. It is only through Jesus Christ. And, and this is, we're living in a day we must hear the truth. And heed the truth. You know, honey, the Bible says death has lost its sting. Do you know why death has lost its sting? It's because the word of God says it's appointed unto man to die only once. You died when you gave your life to Jesus Christ. That was your death. Now, when you're called home, you just change the address. That is the power of the Most High. Death has lost its sting. That's right. It's appointed unto man to die only once. So when we come to Jesus, we die, the old man, we die. That's right. Yes. Death or sin is no longer master over you. Oh, hallelujah for that. Now I want to say that again. Hallelujah for Death that. Death or sin is no longer master over you. So the effect of a disease, it has no right, it has no power over you. Sin, it doesn't matter what sin, sin has no power over you. And we're going to look at the scriptures. I'm just, right now, we're just, bringing the words of truth to cause your heart to be built up. Amen. For you to begin to say, wait a minute, sin doesn't have to have dominion over me? That's right. You mean the death of this disease has no right over me? That's, That's right. right. Yeah. We're going to look at what the scriptures say. 
The Lord says in his word, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh. So when you give your life to Jesus, that's just what you've done. You gave your life. But now the Father says, I want you to see some things. I want you to embrace this revelation knowledge. I want you to understand what my word says. What we're going to do is we're going to look at Romans 6. All right? Romans 6. And, and we're going to wait on this scripture here. But I'm just going to read. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? We're in Romans 6. You want to get your Bible? Shall we continue in sin? So God's, Paul's writing to the Romans mm -hmm. right there at, at the church and saying, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? He says, God forbid. How can he that are dead to sin. The believers are dead to sin. They're dead to sin. I love what you said, honey. You said that when we gave our lives to Jesus Christ, that's the day we died. Yes. The moment you said, I want Jesus, I don't want to sin any longer. The old man died. Yes. And the new man is resurrected. The new, new man. man. The new man. New man. man. <laughs> Christ in us. That's why the Bible talks about it's appointed unto man to die only once. That's why death has lost its sting. It has no power over us. How shall I? Hallelujah. <laughs> I mean, that is great news. We just changed that a little bit. And, and to dwell on this truth tonight is power for you, for every believer, oh, yes. for us. Oh, everybody. To dwell on this and understand this. And so it says, God forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer there? Do you not know that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? So the Lord took you. I want you to blink your eye. Just blink your eye a moment. Just blink it. That's how quick the <laughs> Lord, mm -hmm. you died and you resurrected. That yes. quick. That's fast. That is that is fast. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. <laughs> because your heart said, Jesus, I want you. You see, it's not just a ticket to heaven. That's a bonus. Heaven is a bonus. Father says, I'm going to destroy the old you, the old sinful you, and I'm going to raise up my son's spirit in you, the spirit of Jesus Christ. Amen. Wow. <laughs> that just excites you. It excites me. Excites me. <laughs> mm. Do you not know that as many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Mm -hmm. So I want you to picture something. When Jesus Christ was on the cross, you, me, all of us believers died with him. That's right. And then it says, therefore, we're buried with him. So we all were buried with him. Unto death, it says, that like as Christ was raised, just as like as Christ was raised. There's the good news. Up. From the dead, come on, <laughs> from the dead, what? By the glory of the Father, so the glory, the magnificent glory of God came and resurrected you. And it says, even so, we also should walk in newness of life. The old man dies. And it's crucified. Well, right. the only one I ever seen live through a crucifixion was Jesus. So the old man is, he dies and is crucified. And then we rise again with him. That's, that's why now. death has lost its sting. There's no power that's to it. That's right. That's right now. The day now. you said yes to Jesus, Jesus said, okay. He <laughs> said, 
I'm going to raise you up now because the Bible says we were dead in our trespasses and sin. That's right. You ever saw the uh, the movie The Walking Dead? Mm. Well, that's what we all were doing. We were walking dead yeah. in our sins. Yeah. The wages of sin is death. I tell people all the time, the day that you get born again, you your life, listen to what I'm saying, the day you give your life to Jesus Christ and you get born again, your life truly begins that day. Because prior to that, you were the walking dead. That's right. You just went from here to there, K, Sarah, Sarah, whatever it will be. That's right. Will be. But when you surrender and you give your life to Jesus, what he has planned for you before you were even placed in your mother's womb, because now you have given him that permission to yes. take over, get ready. I know firsthand your life will never be the same. That is so true. Never. Because, you see, the moment you said, I want you, Jesus, and every fiber of your heart said, I don't want to remain in sin anymore. I don't want to live in this sin anymore. That's right. That's right. You know, that's to, to the drug addict. This is great news to you to the sinner, to the alcoholic, to the one who is bound in pornography, to the one who is bound in any sin or addiction. You know, people that are on, a, on drugs and are alcoholics can tell you after they give their life to Jesus Christ that their life has never been the same and that without Jesus Christ, they could never do it on their own. Never. They tried everything. Right. They could not find peace. They could not find joy. But when they humbled themselves oh, and Jesus. cried out to the Master, that's when he comes in and he takes over. That's right. And he removes things that need to be removed. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you what he does more than ever. He loves you like you've never been loved before in your entire life. That's Nothing the love like of Jesus. Love. That's right. But God so loved the world. That's right. He gave his only begotten son. That's true. That whosoever believeth in him. How do we believe in him? It's not just a, a fleeing thought like, oh, yeah, I believe in him. Yeah, I believe he died. It's not that kind of fleeing thought. Whosoever believeth in him means whoever will claim, will trust him, will rely in him will believe what he did on the cross for them. As once you began your heart saying, I believe you took my sin, Jesus. I believe you died with my sin and I died with you. You were buried and I was buried with you. You have to see that your old man, all of your old sins, your old nature to sin, your old ways, your habits, all of those things died with Christ. This is the power of the gospel. And you know when, Good news. when Jesus says believe 142 times from Genesis to Revelation only believe. Only believe. What is he saying to mm -hmm. us tonight? Only believe that I am who I say I am. And what I've done. And what I've done. But if you don't believe my word, believe my works. Jesus. How can you deny if you know somebody blind and they're prayed for and now they can see physically? Or someone who is paralyzed and Jesus touches them yeah. and they get up. Out of wheelchairs. Out of wheelchairs. There's, no, there's no denying that. Mm -mm. That's why he said if you don't believe my word, which him and his word are one and the same, if you don't believe my word, believe my works. He's saying to us tonight, if you don't believe, if I'm looking at the camera, but I'm right looking here. down too. I know, you're looking I'm, down. I'm back and forth. But, <laughs> Trying to but, get his eyes up there. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this is a night that when this is all over, I pray that what the, the, the thoughts that you had in your mind and the questions that you have in your mind, I hope Prophet is victorious and I answer all of them tonight so when you go to bed you'll be at peace and you'll be at rest knowing death has lost its sting 
and you just change addresses. Hallelujah. Go Praise ahead, God. All right. For if we've been planted together in the likeness of his death, which we all have, yeah. we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him. Amen. That's that old man. That's that stinking thinking man. That's the old man that that stinking has thinking. bad habits and <laughs> and bad thoughts. Uh -huh. And Jesus said, "Will you believe that your old man has been crucified with me? Will you stop a moment and ponder that, and not be quick just to?" Let that just fall to the side. Because here is the power of the true gospel of Jesus Christ. This is how sin and death has no power over you. If you will take this moment and believe and adhere to this word. Now, honey, that's a seed on it. Moment. Yes, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him. Mm. That the body of sin, now listen to this, when it says might be destroyed, you're going, well, wait a minute. Why is it a might? It's a might because it depends on if you believe it. It's your choice. It's your choice. Yeah. If you don't believe it, if you just say, oh, well, I'm, you know, these, these are, these are just words from a page. <laughs> these are just words from a Bible. I don't know if I believe that, then you cannot walk in the power of it and you will not walk in the light of it. But if you'll believe right now, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him. Yes. Jesus. That the body of sin might be destroyed that henceforth we should not serve sin. For in that he is dead, he that is dead is freed from sin. Now this sounds like that this is saying when your body lies down and you the breath is taken out of you, you're dead, now you're freed from sin. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is not what he's saying. No. Yeah. He's saying if you will die, Jesus said you must be willing to lose your life in order to gain it. It means die to self. He says, will you let your old self die? Will you let that old self go so that I can raise up you up by the spirit of my son, Jesus Christ? Ooh, Jesus. Will you let me put my spirit in you? Take the old out, praise God. Mm. Will you let my spirit of my son come on the inside of you? Will you? Or do you just want a little bit of church? A little bit of Bible reading? A little bit of, now I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord. A little bit of that. And huh. no power <laughs> over sin. And no power over death, no power over hell, no power over Satan. Would you rather have just a little bit of church? I'm talking to somebody right now. I'm talking to somebody. I'm talking to somebody who is sick and tired of being sick and tired. Sick and tired of the habits, sick and tired of sin, sick and tired of being bound by sin. And so tonight, when the Lord is saying, he that is dead is freed from sin, will you be willing to die tonight after we are finished preaching? We're going to open up the altar tonight, the altar that you can bow your heart and bow your soul to God, and he will come to you. Yes, he will. Hallelujah, he will come to Hallelujah. you. Let me finish reading this. It says, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him. That old man is crucified. That the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now if we be dead with Christ, 
We believe that we shall also live with him. When? The moment you say, Jesus, come into my life. Mm. I want you to live in me so I can live with you. Mm. So I can look to you. Mm. Jesus said, I came to give you life and life more abundantly. And this is a life that he came to give you so that you can live with Jesus Christ while we're here on the earth. Yes. Hear his voice. Be led of his spirit. Praise God. And know him. And, and be his, be the child, daughter, and the son of God. And be believers in Jesus. Amen. Amen. And That's so true. he says, knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, dies no more. And death has no more dominion over him. That's right. Death has no dominion over Jesus Christ. No. So as we died with him and we were raised with him, death has no more dominion right. over us. That's right. Sickness, disease, that the doctor said you're going to die. No, 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 no. As a believer, I'm sorry. I died with Jesus Christ. I was buried with him. I was made alive. And death has no power over me anymore. Praise Amen. God. Amen. It's just like it's just like doctors. Hallelujah. Doctors can only give you the report in the natural what they see. But let me tell you over all these years what we have seen. Right. We have seen when we have went into hospital rooms when people are on life support and everybody and their brother is walking around saying, well, he sure don't look very good, and he don't look like he's got much time, and the doctor said this. Let me tell you the good news. When the natural doctor says, and I quote, nothing else can be done, that's when the great physician, <laughs> Dr. Jesus, steps in the house and says, excuse me, I bring life. I am life. I am the healer. And I'm telling healer, deliverer, yes. restorer. He's whatever we need. He is. I love it when the natural doctor stands back and scratches his head the next day when there's somebody that's supposed to have died. I just got a text from somebody in, in Captain North Carolina and I prayed for this man and I couldn't even understand him. He was deathly ill and scheduled by man to die. But if you could see this text and see this man now, you would have never thought you would never know. in a million years this man was ever on his deathbed. And we're talking Thank about you, praying Jesus. now over the telephone. Thank I you, wasn't in Lord. Wilmington, North Carolina. I didn't touch him. I spoke, I cursed the spirit of death, and Thank life you, came Lord. back into him. Mm. And now he's fine. Death, Hallelujah. Death. Yeah. Death has no more dominion. That's right. And when we walk in the light of that truth, then Jesus said that he gives us all power. He gives us all authority. Yes, he does. He gives us the dominion. That is why we share in the likeness of Christ's death, burial, and resurrection. That's right. I'm going to finish reading. It says, For in that he died, he died unto sin once, but in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Hallelujah. Likewise. Hallelujah. Mm. Now, you know, I've always said that God is Southern, and, and you're going to hear the scripture. Likewise reckon ye. Now, I know only in the South we say reckon. And in you all. So, yes, and in you all. So God's Southern, that's my take on it. So likewise, I agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin. Bible says, reckon yourselves, believers. Jesus, believers, reckon yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. And let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body. You know why? Because Jesus is in your mortal body now. Sin has no place with Jesus in your mortal body. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's because That's right. we no longer have the sin nature of the first Adam. That's right. We no longer have the sin nature of the first Adam. In the book of Peter, it says, Now we are partakers of 
Yes. Of the divine nature. Yes. What's the divine nature? The nature of Jesus Christ. Praise God. You know, we do not belong to the spirit of Antichrist. The spirit of Antichrist pushes Jesus Christ away. Says, no, I do not believe in Jesus. And now we are believers. So we embrace the spirit of Jesus Christ. Amen. We embrace his spirit. We embrace his words of eternal life. Amen. That's why sin and death has no power over us. I hope this is helping somebody. Amen. And, Amen. And now we have the creator's DNA. Divine, Divine nature, nature activated. activated. <laughs> I'm not talking about religion. I'm right. not talking about tradition, denomination. Glory. I am talking about the living, breathing, walking, talking Lord and Savior, Jesus. <laughs> and I'm telling you, places that we've seen that have a form of godliness and totally deny the power thereof, mm. it's because they're into religion, they're into tradition, they're into doctrines. But we're not about traditions, doctrines, and denominations. We're about this, hallelujah. We are about demonstrating that Jesus Christ is alive today. Miracles happen today. And you know when I hear people tell me, well, you know, Apostle, the day's coming that I will be healed when I get to heaven. And I look at people like that and they go, really? I say, well, guess what? There's no, no, no pain, no disease in heaven. Heaven is a bonus. Jesus died on the cross mm. for us right now. That's why death has lost its sting. We gave our life to Jesus, so the Bible says it's appointed unto man to die only once. You died. You know, we're, you died. The old man died right. and is crucified. We're born again. Yes. Born from above. Amen. Yes. God our Father placed his resurrection life in every believer. Amen. Yes. That right. resurrection life that dwells inside of you, the Bible says it quickens. That means it gives life to every organ in your body. Amen. That's right. It's quickening right now, even as we're speaking. Hallelujah. Those of you who have been sick, Jesus. the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwells in you. That's right. That's we need right. to sow to that. We need to drench our conscience with that truth and say, wait a minute. No power of death has no power over me. Death has no power in my body, working in my soul, working in my mind, working anywhere in me. Sin has no power working in me, through me, around me. I give no place. The scripture says, do not yield your members unto sin. So I don't have to let my eyes see sin anymore. Because I have a new nature. I don't have to let my ears, hallelujah, hear sin anymore. I have a new nature. I don't have to let my body entertain any sin. That's right. At all. That's right. Because I'm a Jesus believer. Amen. And Jesus is in me. <laughs> Amen. Tell me, when did Jesus entertain sin in his eyes, in his mind, in his ears? He did not. He was tempted with it. But never did. He never gave into it. Uh -uh. Just like us. That's right. We will be tempted. Oh, yeah. But the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwells inside of us. Amen. Praise God, the same spirit, honey. Now, now, think about this now. Hallelujah. The Bible does not say it's appointed unto man to die twice. That's right. It says it's appointed unto man to die once. once. And so the day that you gave your life to Jesus Christ, that's when Thank the old Lord. man died. That is why, Woo. unequivocally, I can say tonight, death has lost its sting. Thank you, Lord. It has no power over you. Are y'all shouting right you now? You just changed addresses. Are y'all shouting right now? <laughs> Praise God. Woo. Let's welcome Jesus. Virginia Morrow. Amen, right. she says. Virginia, yeah. I remember her. Virginia says amen. Yes, amen. Michael <laughs> Scrociano and Molly and Mom. All right. Heaven, oh, we love you too. Janice Parsons. God bless you, There's Janice. Janice. God bless you. Mark, Mark 
Fillers. Fillers, amen. Yes. He says, thank you for your prayers. Amen. 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 Brenda amen. Little Williams, God bless you. Praise amen. God. Amen. Oh, great to have y'all on tonight. Amen. Yes. It's a joy to have you. Yes, praise God. All right. He says, I hope y'all getting something. I hope this is firing you up. He says, therefore, right. do not let sin okay, reign amen. in your mortal body, that you should obey in its Lust thereof. It says lust. And so, will lust come in our flesh when you're born again? What does it say? Mortify the deeds of your flesh. Yeah, what does mortify right. mean? Kill it. Kill it. So anytime it comes up, you know, uh, <laughs> at the fair, they had a game. It's called whack-a-mole. 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 That's it. And you would take this big thing with a handle. And every time its head would pop up, you would whack it. So that's what you do. When the flesh, when any time you're tempted, you say in the name of Jesus. God said he will make a way of escape every time. When that's man is says. tempted. Yes. Who comes to tempt you? <clears throat> it says man is tempted when he's drawn away by his own lust. You say, well, how does that lust leave me? When you begin to come away with the Lord and his word and his spirit, and you say, Father God, I don't want to remain in this sin. Now, Lord, your word says this. I died with you. I was buried with you. So I give no place. God gives us the instruction. He says, yield your members. Not an instrument of unrighteousness, but an instrument of righteousness. Right. So what would you do? You would yield your, your heart. You would yield your mouth at the same time. And you would say, Lord, I do not want to sin. And I will give no place. Do you know? Father hears your declaration. He hears what you are saying. You know, it says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. So you are the one. And so the Lord is saying, open your mouth and declare my word of truth because his word will guide you. His word will lead us. Amen. You know, a lot of people you'll hear say, well, you know, we're all sinners. We're all sinners. Well, you know what Jesus says about that? Jesus said, little children, I write unto you this. Sin not. But, here's the word, but if you do, you have an advocate with the Father, God, which is yes. Jesus Christ. So, when I grew up, raised as a Catholic, the Catholics have confession. And you go into a confessional and you, you're, what you're actually doing is you're repenting to the priest for what you've done. Well, when I found out there's only one mediator between me and God, and that is Jesus, automatically I went, wait a minute. That priest don't have any authority whatsoever to hear my sins and tell me what to do to be forgiven of those sins. And see, he was leading you in the wrong way. Yes. He would say to you to do what? Well, say, he'd say a couple, of, he'd say, say two um, uh, Hail Marys and three Our Fathers and you're forgiven. And also, one now, other where, thing. Where is the scripture on that? There's not. There's no and there's scripture. another thing. It's all supposed to be done in secrecy between you and Jesus, the mediator. But in the confessional, and if you're an altar boy like I was in the Catholic Church, the priest knows your voice. And so he knows you're, you're in a screen. You know, he's on one side and you're on the other. And he knows you. So where is the privacy in that? There is none. And then I found out that he has no power at all. No. The Lord showed me in his word, and that's what I started questioning things, and I went, wait a minute. See, what was happening with you, honey, is that the <laughs> word of God was bringing truth to yes, you. Yes, that's exactly what it was. That's what the word of God does. That's exactly that's what it was. That's why the Father says, you can read it right here, do not offer the parts of your body to sin. The Father says, don't do that. 
as instruments of wickedness. And he goes on to say, but rather offer yourselves to God. All right, so you're offering up your, your, your mouth. You're offering up your ears. You're offering up your mind. All of those are your body parts. And so he says, offer yourselves to God as though who, those who have been brought from death to life. Oh, that's powerful right there. That's Romans 6, 12. Oh, that's so powerful. Read that. So he's Romans saying, 14. do not let sin reign in your body. Mm, mm, mm. And that's why sin cannot have power over you because you're saying, nope, it's not going to reign in my body. Sin is not going to reign in my mind. I give it no place. Bible says submit to God. That's how you submit to God. You're submitting to his way. That's right. You resist the devil, and he will flee. That's James 4, 7. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. And he says it right there. That yes. Who have been brought from death to life. To life. He is the life. We are living yes. in life That's now. That's right. That's it. So we do not allow death to rule. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. So before we were born again, we sowed to death. We sinned. We sinned. We sinned. We sinned. And we didn't know how to stop sinning. That's right. We had no power to stop sinning. No. We could only sin and sin and sin again. Can't do it. No, sin. And this is why... Jesus said the wages of sin is death, but look at what it says. But the gift of God, Romans 6, 23, the gift of God is eternal life. Mm -hmm. So when you choose Jesus, you're receiving him the gift. And the Lord says, now I'm going to put eternal life in you. So eternal death can no longer rule and reign in you. Sin can no longer rule in you. Death can no longer rule in you. Oh my goodness, right. are you getting happy? I'm getting happy. I have no power. Hearing this again and again. So because you choose life, because you choose Jesus, because you said, I'm going to follow you now, Lord. I'm turning my back on sin and I'm yielding to you, the person, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. You want to read this next one? Yes. Romans 8, 1 and 2 says, Therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. Woo! You are free Sin or death has no more power no over you. No more, beloved. None. None. That should <laughs> excite you. That should make you just so joyful, knowing that you're free. It says the law of the Spirit mm -hmm. who gives life. Mm -hmm. He, Jesus Christ, in you set you free. Woo! Hallelujah. From sin and death. Free at last, free at last. You are free. We are free from sin and death. Amen. No sin. You must stop listening to words that have no life in them. When you hear people say, we will always be sinners. Do you know when you read Revelation, it says all sinners will have their place in the lake of fire. Is that what you choose? I don't choose that. No. 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 I'm going to be a believer. I'm going to believe and I'm going to accept the righteousness that is afforded to me and you and everyone who believes. Father said, my righteousness, my royal robe of righteousness, my spirit, I'm going to put on you. I'm going to put in you so that you can live free from sin, free from death. And this law of sin and death can no longer work in you because you have accepted 
my son Jesus Christ. Remember what I said mm-hmm. earlier. Mm-hmm. We no longer have the sin nature of Woo. the first Adam. Hallelujah. That's why I also said, Jesus said, little children, I write unto you this, sin not. But if you do, but, that's a conjunction saying you're not supposed to, we don't have that nature. But if we happen to slip up, in other words, we don't have the nature to sin. And we don't think about not sinning because we don't have that nature any longer. That's right. But if we do. And he says that in First John when he's saying that, he says, my little children. Yes. These things I write unto you. Yes. That you sin not. But. But if. But if you sin. You have an advocate with the Father. Whoever confesses his sin. This is what's so beautiful. I will be faithful and just to forgive you and then to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So the Father says, the spirit of my son's in you. My life is in you. My eternal life is living in you. The resurrection life of Jesus Christ is living in you. Now I want you to sow to that truth. And the more you sow to that, the more you will not sin against the Father. And the one who died, Jesus Christ, sinless, abides in you. That's right. Did Jesus sin? Did Jesus try to make you sin? No. That's why we don't have that nature any longer. The sinless Christ, Jesus Christ, lives in you. That's right. The last thing you're going to think about is sinning. Amen. You don't have that nature any longer. But if you do. Now, Mark, the doctor said you have stage four renal cell carcinoma, but I feel fine. Mark, I want you to hold on because we are going to pray for you, all right? At the and end. At the end. So yes. you hold on because we have good news for you, and we're so glad that you are on tonight yes. listening yes. to the Word of God. Praise God. Amen, amen, and amen. That's all right. right. Now, when Jesus said you will know the truth and the truth will make you free, knowing truth is the most powerful, knowing the truth of Jesus' word is the most powerful, powerful thing that you can engage in is the truth. Now I want you, that means you're going to have to pull down some lies from your soul. Some thinking. We call it stinking thinking. <laughs> All right? And you gotta it, pull it, it down. Is stinking thinking. You gotta say, no, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna listen. That's I'm right. not going to listen. All right. We read these scriptures. They said in Acts sixteen thirty one, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. That believing is believe. That Jesus took all your sins. Believe that Jesus took every sickness, including stage four carcinoma cancer. That's right. He took a stripe for that disease. Believe that Jesus took it. Now, Jesus took every, every disease. Jesus took every sin. But now we're going to focus on disease. Did he take your disease? Did he take cancer? Yes. Did he take a stripe for heart disease? Yes. Did he take a stripe for liver disease? Yes. Every organ that you can think of that has diseases, Jesus said, I'm taking it. Now, when Jesus took it, he took it all. And why did he take it? He took it so you that believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, praise God, that you shall be saved. And that word saved means you shall be healed. If you believe it, you will be healed. If you believe that I took it, you will be made whole. Saved means sozo. And that definition of sozo means delivered made whole, set free, healed completely, 
So Father said, if you'll believe, on. I wonder why the Father said believe on instead of believe in. Because when you believe on Jesus, he's in you, but you believe on him. As he's in you, you believe he took all sickness, all disease. He took every habit, every sin. He became sin. So it says, Jesus Christ, he who knew no sin, was to be made sin for us so that we could become in right standing with God. We could be cleansed. We could be made whole. We could be redeemed. We could be reconciled. We could be washed in the blood of the Lamb. We could be totally healed from every sickness and every disease. We could be totally free from sin and free from death Amen. that works in the bodies of men and women while they're here on the earth. And God says, no, become a believer. Become a real believer that believes and you'll see the power of my resurrection life living on the inside of you. Amen. And when he Praise says, God. when the word says he took it and took it to the cross, if he took it, it's just like me having a phone and Providence Victoria takes it from me. I no oh, longer I, have it. So he, he took the disease from you. When I read Mark Fillers about the cancer, we have seen so many people healed. Amen. I have, we've had two or three that had inoperable liver cancer. Right. Both are, are alive today and healed. Jesus. But the doctor said, the Thank natural you, doctor, yes. Nothing can be done. You cannot, and I repeat, operate on inoperable liver cancer because they'll tell you you can't because you'll bleed to death. Well, we have had two people healed of inoperable liver cancer. So get ready, Mark. Tonight's right, your Mark. night. Tonight Amen. is your night. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away. What old things are they? Everything. Everything that you could think of has passed away. The old you, the old nature of you, passed away. And then he says, now everything has become new. So everything on the inside of you has become new. Now all things are of God. What do you mean all things are of God? Everything on the inside of you is of God now. The Spirit of God in you. I want you to think about that. The Spirit of God. The Spirit of Jesus Christ living in you and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That God was in Christ reconciling the whole world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses to them. And has committed to us the word of reconciliation. That's what we're doing tonight. God says, come and tell my people that sin and death has no power over the believer. It does to the unbeliever. Sin will work in those unbelievers. Sin will have power over the unbelievers. Death will work inside of an unbeliever, but not a believer, beloved. No, your nature is to believe in Christ in you, the hope of glory. Right. To live in his peace, to live in his joy, to live in his rest, Therefore, as we are buried with him by baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too may walk. It's time for every believer to walk in a new way of life. Amen. And Amen. this is real life, not Amen. just breathing, <laughs> but living life. There's how many people on the planet are breathing? But those who believe in Christ are living. Amen. There's a Amen. big difference. Oh, yes. The same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, Romans 8, 11, Amen. dwells on yes. the inside of you, believer. Yes. Amen. That is why. You want to read that one? That is why it has no power over you. So 1 Peter 2, 24 says, He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that we might die to sins Again, it's, and live yes. for righteousness by his wounds, you have been 
healed. That is what we're talking about. He took 39 stripes upon his body. People ask me, why 40? Why not 41? Because 39 stripes is significant because there's 39 major categories of any or every disease that will ever be discovered. Even a new disease will break off one of those 39 categories. Why do I know that? Because Jesus is not getting back on the cross. He has already done it all. When he said to the Father, it is finished. That's right. That was a plan of reconciliation. Totally. God back to man. Jesus was the only pure sacrifice that the Father would receive to open up heaven back to man. Aren't you glad? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you. Mm. It says he will give life to your mortal body. Mark, get ready. This life is not breathing life. Mm -mm. This life is mm. eternal life. Mm. This life is the life that Jesus Christ gives. This life breathes. This life is alive. This life is so powerful that it comes inside the mortal body and destroys sin and destroys death Amen. completely. And Praise God, it's not by chance, oh Mark no. Fillers, that you're on this oh no. broadcast tonight. Oh no. Oh no. God Almighty, he has a perfect plan, plan was so that you could hear death of any disease has no power, no right over the believer, the true believers. And so it says, the mortal bodies also through his spirit that dwells in you, Romans 8, 11. So his spirit that dwells in you. Can I say to you, Mark, tonight, whose report are you going to believe? Are you going to believe man's report? Are you going to believe the report of Jesus Christ that says, Mark, I took 39 stripes upon my body. One of That's those right. stripes is for your healing that tonight. That is right. One of the men that we prayed for that had inoperable that liver cancer, right. he had less than three weeks to live. And he didn't know anything about anything. That's right. We showed him the word, and I'm telling him, I'm going to tell you right now before we even get to the praying, because I feel it so strong. God is going to heal you tonight. Hallelujah. And all you have to do Hallelujah. is believe. And I know yes, that you do because you just typed it in what it was that you were diagnosed. And my, my answer, my question to you is, is who report? Whose report? We just read First Peter. Oh, Jesus. 2.24. Thank you, Lord. By his stripes. Not we might be. That's right. By his stripes, we were and we are healed by faith. Right now. Because there is no pain. There is no sickness. There is no disease in heaven. That's right. Jesus didn't take the 39 stripes on his body, on his back. He was not ripped. The flesh that was slashed and ripped on Jesus' back. Torn off his body. Torn off his body. Yes. It was done. For us while we're here in the earth. That's right. So we would not have sickness and disease. We would not face any of that. And so we come against every lie of Satan that has lied to the believers. That you're going to die with some sickness or disease. No, sin or death has no power over any believer, any true believer. I've never read anything in the Word of God that says you have to die of anything. That's right. Never. Christ conquered death, hell, and the grave on Calvary. You're on an assignment. When that assignment's up and the Lord calls you home, you just go home. Satan has no power. <laughs> oh, no. He has no influence over you. No. He has no claim uh. to you, your family, your body, your mind, any of your finances. Christ Jesus defeated Satan at the cross. 
once and for all. He sure did. Like Apostle said, he's not going to get back on the cross. Shorty done. He took every stripe on his back, and he took every sin that man, that's known to man, known to you and me. He's taken every sin. That's right. He who knew no sin was to be made sin for us so that we could become right standing, so we could become healed, so we could become made new again, washed in the blood of the Lamb, Oh, we created anew with the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. The moment you believe, the Father comes right to you. Oh, praise God. Yep. It is time to pray right now. You know, honey, I, oh my God, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm just going to go with Hallelujah. what I'm feeling right Hallelujah. now. It is time to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You know, we pray right now. Thank you, Jesus. Today, we decree. Today. Want to go to the next? Oh, praise God. Well, I missed that, the last one. Let's, That's let okay, but again. I want you to pull up Mark and let me. There we go. Read what he said. I want everyone to say, today is my day. Tonight today, is my night. tonight is my night. Right now, tonight is my night. To be totally, once and for all, delivered because of the truth. That's right. Truth makes you free. Yes, it does. How many of you receive the truth tonight? How many of you say, I believe the truth? And I receive the truth. It's not enough to believe. You must receive the truth. Type it, type it in. Amen. If you received it, type it in also if you have a prayer request that you need prayer for anything. Thank you. And we Lord. know that Mark needs prayer, and we're going to pray for him in just a second. Amen, amen, amen. Mark said, I believe. Oh, we'll yes, get ready. Yes, he did, amen. Yes, I believe. <laughs> yes, I believe. I agree. Oh, my God. Amen. Yes, we are healed. Mm -hmm. We are healed. Mark, Today is my day, Mark said. Excuse me, honey. Amen. Mark, how long ago were you diagnosed with this cancer, if you don't mind typing that, typing that in? Today is my day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, I receive the Jesus healing. I don't know if he heard what you said. No, that's okay. Man. All right. Praise God. It really doesn't matter, does it? Pull it back up so I can read what he, exactly he said that he, said he had. There it is. Four stage renal, renal cell, cell carcinoma. carcinoma. Okay, hallelujah. Mark, Thank you, renal Lord. is kidney. So what I want you to do is I want you to put your hand in your kidney region, in that kidney area right now, in the name of Jesus. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I curse this renal carcinoma from the very root, and I command it to die now. Shrivel up and go from his body right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, stretch forth your mighty hand. Manifest your healing power and your healing presence upon Mark's body right now. In the name of Jesus, I call for a complete turnaround in his body compared to what he was even feeling even a minute ago, Father God. We decree and declare total and complete healing in Mark's body right now. No more cancer. Amen. It must go now. 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, I thank you that your word cannot return mm -hmm. unto you void, Isaiah 55, 11 says. Right. And Father, nothing can cross that blood, Lord mm -hmm. Jesus. And I just thank you, Father, thank you, right Lord. now Hallelujah. that your word has been sent out right now to Mark's body. Thank you, Jesus. And therefore, we decree and declare total healing to come to his body right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, Lord, thank that the you, next Lord. time Hallelujah. Mark goes to a doctor for thank any kind you, of test, they're going to say, Mark, we don't know how. We know how. No more cancer. Thank it you, is Father. gone now in the name thank of you, Jesus. Lord. Father, we just thank you, Lord, right now that it's done. Jesus' Amen. name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you tonight for those who are listening to your word, for every believer that has been struggling with sin. Lord, we pray that the truth, that sin has no dominion over them whatsoever. We thank you, Father, that you are causing hearts to see causing hearts to understand, causing hearts to know right now by the word of your truth, Father, in Jesus' name. Let the healing power of your spirit resurrect and bring healing to everyone, every believer, every believer. Healing is the children's bread. So we give you praise and pray that right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Healing to their bones, healing to their organs, God. Healing to, to their mind. Lord, believers need healing in their mind and their soul. So I pray, Lord, right now that your healing flow. Hallelujah. Those believers... Praise God. Let the healing power of Jesus come to you right now. Hallelujah, Lord. Type in what's Amen. going on right now in your spirit. What, what what are you receiving if you want to? If you need a healing, a miracle, go ahead and type that in also. Amen. Everyone is agreeing. Amen. One Today year ago. Day. One year with Mark. One year ago. All right. All through my body, amen, Janice. Praise God, receive. My God has some stuff going on. It's just not going to get cocky. Well, Mark is not getting cocky when you tell a doctor that your God has this. That's not cockiness. That's knowing who you are and whose you are. That is called faith, is exactly what that is. You know... The father took it. He took. I remember um, the lady who got healed of uh, inoperable liver cancer. Donna. Donna. Yeah. She had an Indian. Uh, uh, her doctor was from India. Yeah. And he was. Uh, are they Buddhist or yes. okay? Yeah. He was and, Buddhist. And so she would come in, and he would tell her, "Okay, well." It's inoperable. We can't operate. Get your affairs uh, taken care of in order. in order. So she would go to her doctors and she would tell her doctor, by Jesus' stripes, I am healed. Jesus is going to heal me. And when she met us, she, w she was miraculously healed. And when she went back to the doctor, it's a long story. You can hear her testimony on our website. And we have the doctor report, too. Yeah, she sent us the documents where no more cancer. It's all gone. It's all gone. Yeah. And he became a believer <laughs> because yeah, he did. Jesus healed her. I forgot that. Yeah, he yes. did. Yes. He did, yeah. So praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is same yesterday, today, and forever. He doesn't change. Right. And so light comes to those who are going to watch this Facebook Live. I want to say to you that if you're struggling with sin, tonight 
is your knife. For sins right. no longer have dominion over you. If you're struggling with some kind of illness in your body, death cannot work in your body anymore because the living Christ, Jesus, lives inside the believer's body. It's trespassing. It is trespassing. And it has to go. And we say no more trespassing That's right. in your physical bodies, in That's your right. minds, That's right. in any organ in your body. We forbid in the mighty name of Jesus anything of the enemy to be moving in your body, in your organs, in your minds, in your souls, not another day. We forbid it. And we decree over you the healing power of Jesus Christ. And Mark, I want to encourage you tonight. I had a sister that lived in Illinois that was diagnosed with fourth stage non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Drove 14 and a half hours, prayed over her, and probably within a month, she calls on the phone to drive down here and show us the doctor's report. No more. Zero, Zero. cancer. The doctors were totally right. amazed. Praise and that's God. what I'm telling you about our Dr. Jesus. Right. I feel that you're a man of faith, so you just start thanking the Lord. Amen. Amen. We want to thank those of you who come on tonight. What a blessing it is to have Amen. you here. Thank yes. you for joining with us. Yes. Thank you for giving to World Outreach Ministries. We have, last time we were on, someone asked us about uh, giving to our ministry. And right at the top of the page, there is a link right there. You just hit that link, it'll take you right to our Give to World Outreach Ministries. So praise God. Thank you for giving. Thank you. We are a faith ministry. We live by faith. Absolutely. We walk by faith. <laughs> we do the work of the kingdom by faith. Amen. You can take, uh, you can see some of our uh, out in the streets as we have been called out into the hedges, highways, and byways. And so we've been doing that for many years now. We have been so blessed to see what our eyes have seen and seeing the, the healing power, the love of Jesus. Miracles happen on the street. Yes. Miracles happen <laughs> over the telephone. It's Miracles awesome. happen in Shoney's restaurant. We ought to tell that Oh one. my we goodness, go, Jesus, we? it's 914. Isn't we'll it? go up and they'll see if <laughs> anybody else is on the line. All right. They Praise God. You are welcome, Mark. God bless you. We're expecting a good report, Mark. That's right. Praise the well, Lord. We can wait the next time. We had know. a, we had a, uh, we led two people to Jesus Christ today. Amen. Gave their lives to the Lord. We're so excited about that. Yes. Oh, absolutely. So praise Amen. the Lord. We will share more in, uh, on our next Facebook Live. Yes. So please share this tonight. If you were blessed, we'd like to hear about it. Oh, absolutely. If the Word of God touched you, we'd like to hear about that yes. too. Yes. All right. Well, God bless each and every one of you. And next Monday. We love you. Uh -huh. We have on Monday night, yes, our global prayer call. You can go to our Facebook, on Facebook uh, page, Victoria Warnick, and there you can get the number and the code. Please send it to someone who is sick or needs a miracle in their life. We pray, we open the phone lines at the end, and so praise God, we're praying for our nation. Global prayer call. Amen. And uh, the truth news. The truth that you won't get from CNN, ABC, and all them deep states. Right. And That's all, right. as President Trump says, all those fake news That's people. right. <laughs> yes, we're, we have been sharing the news. You could go to our website also. There is so many posts. At worldoutreachchristiancenter.net. Worldoutreachchristiancenter.net. Amen. And uh, you could go there to USA Miracles. We have miracles. Oh, my God, uh, yes. From Ireland, England, Denmark, Africa. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and yes. we also uh, share about the, you know what, the, the jab. All right, the jab. So yeah. you can go on our website and, and listen to doctors, scientists, virologists, and get the real news. Get the, the truth. truth. 
that will save people's lives Amen. and make it make it make it free. So we want to invite each and every one of you next Monday night, at seven o'clock. Also go to our uh, website, World Outreach Christian Center. Dot net and pull up the USA Miracles and just sit and watch the videos and the people's testimony. Because nowadays so many people don't even believe in miracles, much less believe in God's alive. But trust me. It'll bless you. It'll bless you. All right. So we love each and every one of you until next Monday night at 7 o'clock. Good night, Good everybody. Good night, everybody. We love, we love you. you. Good night. Good night.